Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be clearing the two hero preview stages and I'll start with the first one, Autokratos' Tyrannical Phony King. So this one is interesting because you have to win within three rounds and defeat all enemies using Autokratos. Um, there is a bit of a luck element as a result of this because where the enemies get teleported will very much affect the end result. So where they get teleported by overthrown order. So let's just begin. So I'm just going to skip this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an AoE from the Necromancer and an AoE from Autokratos. And I want Lucretia to be teleported in a position where she can be easily attacked. Ideally, it would be down here, but I didn't get it. So be it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to have both demons strike this arcane golem and whip it out. He'll get off a second corruption. The demons will be dying, which is fine. The key here is that I need to be able to kill her. So let me just strike Lucretia and then I'm going to just have Autocratus start wiping out these characters. Demon falls. Autocratus wipes out two infantry. And now I can have Autocratos do a 3 range attack on Lucretia, take her down, and then finish off the Infantry General this way. So. There will be an RNG for sure with this battle because of the random teleport, but the goal is to either have the two demons either hit Lucretia or hit her um, summon. So that's the first battle. Then the second battle is Imperial Sorceress. Lucretia can't be harmed, and you def defeat one of the infantry generals within one turn. So let's begin. Let's just skip all this. So the secret to this battle is Lucretia's passive, Shadow Coordination, because its effect is that after dealing damage through an active attack, you apply Shadow Mark to the enemy. And with Shadow Mark, when an Arcane Golem fights against an enemy affected by Shadow Mark, it ignores Guard. So you're going to launch, in other words, if we launch out an AOE, that will apply the shadow mark on all these enemies, and then the arcane golem can ignore guard and kill off the infantry, just like that. Now, I can have Lucretia. I can an attack like that. And why don't I have the construct strike the infantry? Construct this pretty well. And now I can attack the Mage General, killing it off. In the meantime, why don't I trigger Magic Pulse on Lucretia? So it's gonna come up, attack my Arcane Golem, take a ton of damage, 
And finally, Lucretia can just finish off the Holy General. And there we have it. So with that, Lucretia is unharmed and you defeated the Infantry General on the first turn, grabbing the rewards. So, thanks for watching everyone! I hope you found this video useful, and on that note, Nitro out.